world doctor. Now, the doctor is treating the population staff from the headquarters and the mobile. Thank <laughs> Ang lahat po ito ay dahil sa suporta, pagkakilig at bawat isa sa inyo sa tulisan ng pagkakaisa. Na isinusuro namin, Mayor or should I say, Vice President Elect ng Daisa. Ngayon ay binubuo ng Ford ng mga kadete ng sanatahang lakas ng Pilipinas na pinaunahan ni Cadet First Class Edmund D. Logroño. Mula sa prestigyosong Philippine Military Academy, ang mga ginoon pinipinig ito ang mamamahala sa iba't ibang sangay ng sagatahang lakas. Ikinigitan sa kanilang puso't isipan, kalitigan, integridad at katapatan. Sila na sa hinara ay magiging kaagapay sa pagsusulong ng kapayapaan at kaunlala ng bansa. Sumusunod ang batalyo ng mga kadebe mula sa kilalang Philippine National Police Academy Balay. sa pangunguna ni Cadet Second Class Joshua karakter ng mga kagete nito upang mamuno sa hinarap ng nananaig ang paglilipod, karangalan at justisya, gayon din bilang makadiyos, responsable at respetado mga public safety officers. Commander Ray R.G. Habonete ng Navy. Binubo ang batalyon ng Scout Rangers Special Forces ng Philippine Army, Naval and Special Operations Group ng Philippine Navy, at 7th and Special Operations Wing ng Philippine Air Force. Sila mga piling individual na ang kasanayan ay sa iba't ibang larangan at nakakaangat, lalo na sa mga espesyal na operasyon. Narito naman ang batalyon na binubo ng kapulisa na tanong may bayi na pinakuluhan ni Police Lieutenant Colonel Jutsu S. Bayan. Ang ating kapulisa na nagapagpatuwal ng matas at papalagini ng kapayapaan ng kaalusan at nagsisiguro sa kalimplasan ng ating mamamayan. Ang tanong may bayi ay nakatuon sa Maritime Search and Rescue, Maritime Law Enforcement, Maritime Safety, Marine Environmental Protection, at Maritime Security.
speaker. Remember, I speak from the spirit. I was among the first to get voted. Administrations before you. President Rodriguez Roa Duterte built more and better than all the administrations. Much has been built, and so well, that the economic dogma of dispersing industry to develop the least likely places has been upturned. Development was brought to them. Investors are now setting up industries along the promising routes built. And yet, the potential of this country is not exhausted. Following these giant steps, we will continue. I will complete on schedule the projects that have been started. I'm not interested in taking credit. I want to build on success that already happened. We will be presenting the public with a comprehensive infrastructure plan. Six years. Could be just about enough time. No part of our country will be neglected.
Pagupo muna kayo ng masagal. Mm -hmm. Mamaya. Namnamin nyo yung pagupo nyo dito. Mm -hmm. 